Hi, welcome to King Motors. You've clicked the link to our 2018 Mercedes-Benz E350 plug-in hybrid. This is the AMG line. I'm going to take you out for a spin it now and just try and show you some of the amazing things about it. It's an absolutely gorgeous car and spec wise, it's just absolutely, it's crammed with everything. Like it's, I'm going to miss stuff in this. Uh, in saying that, if you find the car on YouTube, there's a link in the video description. If you click it, it takes you back to the ad and will show you all the proper spec, all the stuff I miss in this small kind of ad. Uh, otherwise, while you're on YouTube, don't forget to like and subscribe. And finally, I just want to put the price here as to what you can finance this car for from through us, should you choose to. So here we are out in the E350. And as we always say about these things, the first thing you're struck by, your first impressions are the quietness of them. However, this is an AMG line, E-Class Mercedes hybrid. The first thing you're really struck by is just everything. The layout, the design is stunning. It really, really is. The quality of all the materials is truly incredible. It's a fabulous thing. And this one has the benefit of the upgraded um, infotainment unit. Like it's two and a half feet long, this thing. Like it's got absolutely everything in terms of your spec. So we'll start at the start. The car has a reverse camera. That's a 1080p reverse camera. That's almost the quality that we make these videos on. So it's an incredible thing. Apple CarPlay, meaning you can connect everything to it. You've uh, Bluetooth audio, so you can connect everything to it that way if you don't want to use uh, the other thing over onto the dash side of those clocks that's completely adjustable we can absolutely change it in every single conceivable way we want whatever you're into it's there it's it's just it's an incredible it's a tour de force in terms of your your sort of spec like I, there's very little else a car can really have and the layout is absolutely gorgeous the way it wraps around you here is fantastic um the only thing that feels out of place and i've said it before about all of these uh any of these E-classes we've ever had, the only thing that feels like it's in the wrong place is the steering wheel. The steering wheel feels analog in a digital world, sort of. The, that it's so swoopy and lovely and almost organic feeling that this round steering wheel sitting here is kind of odd. But other than that, like you get a ton of other extras on these on account of it being the AMG line. You get the black headliner, as you can see, but you get these deep bucket seats, high back seats. Like This is a beautiful thing. And this actual car, I know quite well because I had this car for myself for two to three weeks before we advertised it. So it's my, it was my car for a while and I took it to, I took it all over the country. It's, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous thing. So absolutely lovely. Then we move on to the other party piece of uh, all of these things, really. The important bit on this one, I suppose, and that's the hybrid factor. What is a C350 or an E350, should I say? This car here, as we sit in it now, is like a limousine. Just absolutely trundle on. There's no noise whatsoever. There's the tiniest bit of road uh, noise coming in from the tires, but that's about it. At the press of a button, I have different modes in the car. I can go from Eco, Comfort, Sport, Sport Plus, into Sport and Sport Plus. And this is just crazy. You get to have what is effectively a super economical limousine on this side with really, uh, really adaptive suspension, all that kind of stuff, really comfortable into Sport Plus, the car actually lowers itself down and just becomes crazy. Like, it's just a totally different animal. You get 299 brake horsepower and over uh, 600 newton meters of torque, making it just obscenely fast. That's paired to a nine-speed gearbox, so you're always in the right gear, whether it's performance or economy you're after. It's a fabulous thing. And then on to just a quick note on hybrids in and of themselves, how they work. They're actually an old technology. There's nothing new about them. Any diesel train you've seen for the last 60 or 70 years is technically a hybrid because there's no direct drive between the wheels and the, <clears throat> and the engine itself. The engine powered a bank of batteries that powered electric motors that drove the wheels. The reason they were able to do it in trains is because a train can carry 100 tons of batteries. A car simply couldn't do that. So as battery tech got more, more modern, got lighter, got more efficient, you could put them in cars. So there's nothing to be afraid of here. Your service course costs on the cars are exactly the same as any four-cylinder petrol car. The hybrid facet of the car is not serviceable and shouldn't be used as a stick to hit you with, really, in my opinion, at the minute. So other than that, then, I'm going to just stop talking about the car there. I will just move on to us briefly in these kind of unusual times still, where we're still doing a bit of distance sales. We were one of the first ever second-hand dealers to be an SIMI dealer, and now we're an AA-approved dealer. The AA approval allows us to offer up to two years of warranty on this particular car. Uh, it gets a 101 point pre-sale check before the car leaves. But as I always say, the real thing the AA warranty does for us um, is it says a lot about the type of business we are. Uh, we were one of, 
the AA are really, really brand protective. They won't just allow anyone be a brand ambassador for them. So the fact that they'll deal with us means we're, you know, we're, we're doing something right. It's a good feather in our cap, I feel. So that's kind of it. I'm going to wrap it up there. Um, I just want to say thanks for watching the video. We appreciate you taking the time to do it. Um, hopefully it showed you some of the really beautiful things about the car and some of the interesting parts of it. Um, and, and showed you the type of people we are, who you can expect to meet when you come up to see us. So that's kind of it. I'm going to leave it there. And I just want to say thanks for watching again. And hopefully we will see you soon.